Good evening everybody. In this video we're going to try to find a splitting field, in this case of the polynomial x to the fourth minus 2 over the rational numbers. So um, there's a few ways we could go about trying to solve this. I'm going to take sort of a naive approach. I look at x to the fourth minus 2 and notice this is a difference of squares. Uh, maybe it's not obvious because you say, well, 2 is not a square. Well, it is. It's the square of the square root of 2. So I can factor this as x squared, because x to the fourth, well, that's x squared squared. So x squared minus the square root of 2 times x squared plus the square root of 2. Now x squared minus root 2 is again a difference of squares, and so I can factor it as x minus, well, we need the square root of the square root of 2. That's the fourth root of 2, and then x plus the fourth root of 2. Okay, now x squared plus root 2 isn't a difference of squares, at least we don't normally think of it as one, but if you think back to how you factored x squared plus 1, well, this had roots i and minus i. In fact, this was a difference of squares. So x minus i times x plus i. Because we can view this x squared plus 1 as x squared minus minus 1. And so it's really a difference of squares where now we're viewing negative 1 as the square of i. So we can do the same thing with x squared plus the square root of 2. I can factor that as x minus the fourth root of 2 times i times, all right, well, let's make a little room over here, x plus the fourth root of 2 times i. All right, if you take the fourth root of 2i and you square it, you'll get the square root of 2 times i squared, which is negative square root of 2. And so again, if you view this x squared plus root 2 as x squared minus negative root 2, hey, there's the negative root 2 you're looking for. Okay, so this tells us that the roots of x to the fourth minus 2 are fourth root of 2 minus the fourth root of 2, and then plus or minus the fourth root of 2 times i. We obtain the splitting field by taking the base field, which was q, and adjoining all of the roots. So the splitting field of x to the fourth minus 2 over q is, you take q and you're going to adjoin plus or minus the fourth root of 2, plus or minus the fourth root of 2 times i. Now, this is not as efficient as it could be. We get a little redundancies here. For instance, once you have the fourth root of 2, you don't need that minus fourth root of 2. So I can just ditch that. And similarly, if I have fourth root of 2i, I don't need minus it. So I'll keep fourth root of 2 times i. Okay. But I claim we don't really need to write that fourth root of 2 twice. You can write fourth root of 2 and then just have an i. Is, well, okay, if I have the fourth root of 2 and i, then I can multiply them together and get fourth root of 2 times i. On the other hand, if I have the fourth root of 2 and I have the fourth root of 2 times i, well, let me take the fourth root of 2, cube it, that's still in there, multiply it by the fourth root of 2i, and now I have four fourth roots of 2. That's just going to multiply to give me 2. And okay, fine, we'll multiply by a half at the end because now I just end up with i. Hey, that gives me the i back. So I can 